<laughs> Go, Heather. Okay, so we are going to be talking about cookware because cookware is on sale for our hosts in what month? September. September. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that answer. <laughs> there was only two. So we're going to do a little bit of training. Now, you can see the ice training demo online, and I've never tried the ice training demo, so we're going to do that as a group and as a team to see how that works. What I do at my shows is I do the rice demo. And so what I do is as soon as I arrive at my host's house, so if the party starts at 6.30, I'm usually there by 6, okay? So I will put rice on to cook in the small pan, okay? And leave it on low for the entire duration of the party, okay? So I've done my entire demo. It's now done, I'm ready to display it. So that's usually going to be around 7.30. If I started at 6.30, I'm roughly done with everything, you know, right around 7.15ish, 7.30, okay? So how long has that been on the stove? 25 minutes. If I got there at six, it's been on there for an hour and a half. Okay, so I just want you to think about that. This rice has been cooking on the stove for an hour and a half. Okay, so now we're gonna go into show mode. So this is me at a show, what I would say to my customers, okay? All right, so here we go. All right, so this is our executive cookware line, and I put this on the stove at what time, Megan Host? Six o'clock. Six o'clock, so right when I got here, right? Okay, and it's been on there the entire time, right? Yes. Okay, haven't turned off the heat? No. All right, it's been cooking, right? So you can kind of see that with the steam as it releases, that it's still hot. All right, and this is just one cup of water and half a cup of rice. It's just those equal proportions that you make with rice. I didn't do two cups because I don't like to waste my host rice. So, plus, it actually shows a little bit better because there's less in there. So really, if this has been on the stove for an hour and a half and I have even less rice in there, shouldn't it be even more damaged? Yes. Okay, so give me some things. What happens when you leave food on the stove too long in your pants? Uh, it burns. It burns. Okay, what else happens? It sticks. It sticks, right? So it, you're usually like scrub, 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 okay? So it burns, it sticks. There's another S word that I'm looking for. Stinks. It stinks. Does anybody smell anything? No. No? no. Okay, so no smell, right? Not whatsoever, all right? So now what I'm going to do is just plop the rice right out of there. Okay, can you see what's inside that pan? Amazing. Okay, isn't that cool? Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this pan around, but I want you to hold it from the handle because remember that the pot is hot, right? So we're going to kind of do this. And what I want you to do when I'm passing around this cookware piece is I want you to look at a couple different features. The first thing that I want you to look at is the flared rims. So if you notice, these edges actually come out. So that is for dripless pouring. So if you've got something in here and you actually pour, like we do sweet southern tea. I don't know if you've ever done that, but that stuff is on the pot. Lily's over there like, mm-hmm, her eyes got really big. She's like, that's some good stuff. They're like two cups of sugar, <laughs> and like a whole bunch of tea. It sits there and boils, and then my kids will make this tea. So they'll take the pot, and they'll pour it into our quick stir pitcher. And so they're doing this boiling hot water, pouring it into this pitcher, and nothing is dribbling down and getting on them and burning their stomachs or falling all over the sink, it truly is a dripless pour. So we'll show that to you in a little bit. I'll put some water in there and pour it out so you can kind of see that. The other thing that I want you to notice is the double bottom that's on here. This is actually designed to keep things from burning. And everybody saw that it didn't burn, right? Yes. Okay, so it didn't burn because of something we call gauge. Gauge is how thick or thin the material is. Now the gauge on the bottoms of our pots is really thick, but the gauge on the outside is thinner. Anybody want to tell me why that is? It transfers the heat. So if you've got something down here that's cooking, right, like a sauce, you don't want it to be super hot on the bottom because then it could burn or scorch. But since it's thicker on the bottom and thinner on the sides, that heat is going to transfer up and it's going to be better for even heat distribution and cooking things evenly. Okay, so that's really good. Now the other thing that I want to point out to you is if you notice, the handles have been riveted on. Anybody ever have the ones that are turn screw? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, all right, give me an example of what happens with the turn screw. What happens to your handle over time? You lose it. You lose it. Okay, you actually lost the handle? Okay, I haven't heard that one. Okay, what else happens to the turn screw ones? They get loose. They get loose. So what happens 
If you or your child goes to grab a handle that does this, what's going to happen? Somebody's going to get burned. Somebody's going to get burned. Okay, when I was younger and newly married and I wasn't doing Pampered Chef and I didn't get a whole bunch of, you know, really nice cookware, I had the turn screw type handles and I remember picking them up and them doing this. And I remember getting burned and I remember taking out the screwdriver. So with this, you don't have to do that anymore. And by the way, we're going to talk about how you can get this at a really great reduced price when you join my team or become a host in September. So the other thing I want to point out when you're looking at this and I pass it around is, what's that? Isn't that cool? Check that out. What is that for? For hanging. For hanging, but guess this. Get this. What happens usually when you have to hang your pot? Where do your lids usually go? In a drawer. Okay? Check this out. Now you can actually hang it all together. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that was real or staged. No. <laughs> I'm a little nervous on that one, okay? The other thing that you're going to notice when I pass this around is look at how it sits flat inside the pan. That keeps anything from re releasing through the lid, which is good because if your heat releases or your steam releases, things aren't going to cook as fast, right? We all know that a boiling pot will boil quicker if you don't watch it. No, <laughs> or the lid's on it, okay? And so we've got the lid on. The other thing you're going to notice is that it's see-through. So remember we said we want the lid to be on? Well, if you're always doing this, what's happening? You're losing your heat. You're losing your heat. So now you can actually cook and look through the lid instead of, you know, lifting up the lid and, you know, looking what's inside there. So much better, much better way to do it. The other thing you're going to notice is this really nice silicone handle. I want you to put your hand on it. There's a little thumb rest right there, and it's nice and soft. Did you know that this can go into the oven? Yeah. Pretty amazing, okay? Anybody want to guess how high the heat can be in the oven with this one? Anybody want to guess? 400. 400 degrees, okay? So 400 degrees this can go into the oven. Now it can't go into the broiler like our stainless steel cookware can, but wouldn't it be great to do a pineapple upside down cake? Take the 12 inch skillet, which by the way, 60% off when you host in September. Put it on the stove, melt some butter, do some brown sugar, take it off the stove, put your pineapples and cherries, put the cake inside, put it in the oven, cook it for about 30 minutes, take it out, it plops right out of that pan. And if you notice, when I pass it around, you're gonna see that there's a non-stick coating on the outside as well as the inside. So see how my rice kind of boiled over a little bit and I kind of made a little bit of a mess? So when you go to clean this, it just wipes right off. Okay, look at that. It just comes right off. And that's because there's a non-stick coating on the outside. Now, the other thing that I want you to know that you can't really see, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, is that this is the highest quality non-stick coating that DuPont offers. Okay? And I'm not going to tell you the name of it because we're actually going to have a test later. <laughs> so I can't give away that answer, but it is their highest quality. So one thing that I've noticed is I actually scratched, I can't even find it. I scratched the outside of my pan and I did that on purpose because I wanted to be able to see how it held up with the scratch. If you look on here, it will never flake, peel, or chip because of the way they applied the coating and it's still non-stick. So I've had this pan for years, and I use it all the time. You're gonna see nice wear and tear, but it's still holding up, and it's gorgeous, it works great. So our executive cookware, I'm gonna pass that around so you can kind of take a peek at it. All right, it's, it's actually not hot anymore. Here you go, kind of waited long enough. And so look, you can actually still eat this rice. And this was just normal, everyday, long grain white rice. And I think Erica would like to eat the rice. So I'll pass it down to Erica if you'd like to eat it. So we have another type of cookware. This is our stainless steel. And this is actually a tri-ply clad construction. So what that means is they've taken aluminum and sandwiched it in between two sheets of stainless steel. Tri meaning three, right? This also has our riveted handles. But you notice, look right here. Do you see this really unique shape right there? That's to keep the heat from transferring up your handles. That's important. I don't know if you've ever used stainless steel cookware, but you go to grab it and it gets hot. This stuff does not get hot unless you're doing something crazy with it, like putting it in the oven. That's not crazy, but do use a mitt, okay? It will get hot from there. It also has the flared rims, but what, let me ask you a question. Did you know that aluminum is not that great conductor of the heat, but they use it because it's very durable and extremely strong and it can go under the broiler up to how many degrees? Anybody know? 500. 500 degrees. 
okay? So most of the time to transfer heat, what do you think they put on the bottom of their stainless steel? Copper. Mm -hmm. They usually put copper, but where do they put it? On the outside. Only on the bottom. bottom. So guess what? The heat is only going to transfer along the bottom. But with ours, they put the aluminum all the way through, even up the sides. Copper? No. The aluminum? The aluminum. Oh. The copper pots that are not made oh. by Pampered Chef only have copper on the bottom. Pampered Chef's tri-ply clad construction has aluminum all the way through the entire room. Okay, so that way your heat again transfers up just like the gauge in this. Now has anybody ever seen your cookware or giver put a pot on the stove and turn the water on and started to get it to boil? Right? We've all done that. Okay, unless you say you can't boil water, in which case I'm a little nervous. Okay, so where do the bubbles start? Where do you start the seeing them? The very bottom, but where? The edge. They start on the edge or the center? Center. They start in the center, right? So they start in the center, okay, and you get these little bubbles right in the center, okay, and then eventually it turns into a roiling boil all the way throughout, right? With our cookware, that does not happen. What happens with ours is because it has a completely flat bottom and the heat transfers all the way along the bottom of these pans, you get a roiling boil faster and all the way through. You're going to see bubbles everywhere. This cookware is amazing. So people always ask me, well, what set do I get? I don't even know. Because we do have a third set okay, that I'm not talking about today because I think these are just phenomenal and they have lifetime warranty. But if you have questions about that, I'll answer them for you later. But these ones, if you're looking at what you're cooking, that will help you determine which set to get and which extra pieces to get in other cookware. So for instance, with our stainless steel cookware, that's for extremely high heat cooking. This can go on high, so you can sear your steaks, you can do a lot of pan frying. This is always constant motion with this one. All right, now this non-stick is gonna be for those people that just wanna wipe and go. Okay, I wanna cook, I wanna wipe it out, I wanna be done, okay? But you're not gonna be able to do certain things with this. Or you probably could, but just not as well as you can with stainless steel. So if you know how to use stainless steel and you cook all the time, you're gonna to wanna to go with stainless steel. Okay, because this will give you much better results than this. Anybody ever heard of fond? Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody know what it is? Still cooked on bits. Still little cooked on bits. Okay, so little cooked on bits, you deglaze it with some kind of liquid, usually wine, creates a very flavorful um, gravy type substance. Okay, so that you can only get really with this because nothing's going to stick to this, right? So I recommend that if you're going to get this as a set, that you get a couple of pieces of the stainless steel. Or likewise, if you're going to get the stainless steel set, I recommend that you get a couple of pieces of the nonstick because you're not going to want to fry an egg in this pan. Okay? Even though it has this nice satin interior finish, okay, that finish is great for easy cleanup. Okay? If you notice when I pass around, it's really shiny out here, but it's kind of dull in here. That's a re there's a reason for that. Okay? So that things will release easier from that pan. All right, so any questions about our cookware that anybody wants to ask? No questions? Okay, so that's the end of our video. We'll talk more about the specials in just a second.